Okay, I'm going to do a efficiency test on the new BB Smack Gen 4. Okay, and I want to say a quick word before I run this test about efficiency ratings. Okay, if anybody provides you an efficiency rating of their cell without temperature, you need to take a closer look and investigate uh, more thoroughly. And the reason for this is demonstrated in the original Smack design. The original Smack booster it is about 6 mmw at temperature but that temperature is 180 degrees fahrenheit which is pretty hot there's a lot of water vapor coming out of of the output tube of that open bath design okay so it actually reduces the efficiency rating um, because part of the gas contains water vapor all right so the goal here and like I've discussed before, the uh, lack of equalization holes to increase efficiency is to have uh, an efficiency number at the lowest temperature that you that the cell will run at. Okay, so you don't want to mask your efficiency rating by contaminating your result with water vapor. Okay, so when anyone posts an efficiency rating, take a look at the cell. Okay, one of the first things you can do is, like I've explained in my other video. Uh, I have seven cells per, cent per side on this center tap design, which means each cell sees about two volts, okay? So we know that uh, the minimum voltage for electrolysis is about 1.24 volts. However, uh, with brute force, it's very hard to start and maintain that reaction. So two volts is your target, okay? If you've got a design, you know, some kind of a center tapped or staggered design where you've got only three or four neutrals, okay, you're talking about, you know, three, four volts per cell, that means over two volts per cell is being wasted in heat generation. So you need to take that into account when uh, examining your efficiency ratings, okay? So I want to go over a few of the parameters before I start the test, all right? As I mentioned, temperature is extremely important, okay? So currently, the cell is running at 46 Celsius, which is 115 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So, fairly cool. It's been running for about an hour, hour and a half or so. Okay. Um, we're running at just about 10 amps, 9.9 .9 amps on, on my inductive amp meter. And my battery charger says 10.1. Okay, our applied voltage. The battery charger says 13.4, but I do have, I see I use some crimp connectors just for the test. I have about a 0.3 voltage drop in the wires and connectors. So, at the terminals I measured, it's 13.1 volts, okay? So I have a, a clock set up, and I have my uh, trusty, dusty little uh, measuring device that I like to use. It's 1.05 liters from uh, full, full water to completely empty. Okay, so we're going to do a time test, and uh, using that, the variables that I've just shown you, uh, 10 amps, 13.1 volts, uh, 115 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to uh, run this test and see what we get for an efficiency rating, okay? So all i got to do is plug this hole right here. You've seen it in some of my other videos. Okay, so starting right now. Okay. So remember, the key point here when doing these efficiency numbers is to take into account the temperature of the cell. If you're boiling water, you know, and somebody's saying, oh, my cell gets 12 mmws. Well, if 50% of that is water vapor, you know, that's not really something to brag about. Um, you want a cell that's putting out pure hydroxy gas. You know what I mean? So that's one of the main keys here. Coming up on 45 seconds. We're about three quarters empty. Just so you know, it's about a liter, liter a minute here. Just it empties out this 1.05 liters in just over 60 seconds. Okay. Getting pretty close there. Try to pan back. Okay. 60, 1, 2, 3, about 64 seconds. Okay. Now, you sit down and grab a pen and paper, do your math. Okay. That's 13.1 volts. Okay. And uh, we've got about 10 amps. All right, what did we say it was? 115 degrees. 114 degrees. Okay, you do the math. It's 7.5 mmws. 
recognize, okay? The most efficient smack design yet, okay? The uh, the Smackzilla was about 8 MMWs, give or take, though. Um, this one here, 7.5 green, okay? That's another thing I didn't mention, this cell is green, okay? So, check the math on that. Recognize the lack of equalization holes. Recognize the Bob Boyce protocol with the, the tricky little refill device, okay? This is the key to the efficiency right here. This is what sets the Smack Booster apart from all others.